and do one click, you can pretty much absolutely nail the selection. What's going on you lot? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking the Lightroom brush tool and I'm going to show you how you can save a ton of time on your editing sessions. Let's jump into Lightroom and get this cracking. While I was away, I was editing some old photos and I was trying to work out if there was a faster way in how to use a brush tool. It turns out there is. Let me show you in this RS3. I'll click on the brush tool and as you can see, there's a previous brush stroke that I've already applied or a previous edit. This is something I typically do in a lot of my car photos where I want the car to stand out from the background and normally it goes something like this. Let's delete this one. I'd come in, I'd brush everywhere I want, where I want to make a selective edit and typically I'd go over somewhere that I don't want to edit and I have to go in and delete it and zoom in and make sure I've got it absolutely perfect and it's just really time consuming. Especially if you've got 15, 20 photos that all need this little bit of extra detail or attention putting into them, it can really add up when you've got a lot of photos to edit. So I was playing around with the auto mask feature. So what this does is makes a judgment on where you've clicked on what you actually want to selective edit. It does a pretty good job, it still can go over when the contrast and colors are not that different in between what you want to select and what Lightroom thinks you want to select. Another quick tip, if you're using the normal method, so you're not using the auto mask method, if you press command on Mac, control on Windows, then it actually enables the auto mask feature without having to keep clicking the button on and off. There is a faster way on how to use auto mask, and this is the bit that I stumbled across. If you make your brush really big, really, really big, and do one click, you can pretty much absolutely nail the selection that you want. Okay, there's a little bit up here that it's selected and in the, in the mountains and stuff, but for one click, it's done really well. So you're probably thinking this is too good to be true. Yes, unfortunately it is. It's not 100% foolproof and you have to be careful where you're clicking and how much contrast and color separation there is between your subject that you want to select and your background. Let me show you on this Porsche. I did this previous selection. As you can see, that probably took me again, probably five minutes to do all that. And we'll click anywhere on this Porsche. And as you can see, it's selected everywhere pretty much. And we don't want any of this. We just want to isolate the car. Okay, you could get away with it. You could brush around it, trying to make it nice and neat, and it'd probably save you a couple minutes overall. I'll try somewhere else. As you can see, that's done a bit better of a job. You just have to be careful on where you click in and let's say the contrast and the colors between your subject and the background. This example is really good as I'll be able to show you how good it can be and also how careful you have to be in the same time. So if you select one of these windows, it does a really good job at selecting all the highlights in the image. If you select something like these green bushes, if that one's done really well, it's just selected all the highlights in the greens. Again, if we select something a little bit darker, there's not that much contrast and color differentiation across the photo, so it just selects everything in the photo that looks like that. So what do we think to this brush hack then? I think it can be really good, but the auto mask feature does have some drawbacks. If you're using conjunction with the other tips I showed you in this video, you'll be flying through those edits in no time. If I taught you something new in this video, please smash that like button. If you want to see more Lightroom tutorials just like this one, please leave me a comment below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. With all that being said and done, I'll see you a lot in the next one. Bye.